See the game more clearly with high-definition spectacle lenses from Norville Opticians. Charlie, switching back into Europe and how different does the competition feel from just the normal, if you like, run-of-the-mill Premiership? Because Gloucester's two lines of form have been very different this season. Yeah, obviously, you know, we've been unbeaten so far in Europe, uh, which hasn't been the case in the Premiership. But, you know, with it being a, a home game against an English team, I suppose in that respect, it's, it doesn't really feel like a European competition at all. Um, but no, I think we, uh, you know, we have to take confidence from our form in this, in this competition. And obviously, the fact that we're unbeaten at home this year, uh, and we're certainly going to have a, you know, a tough, tough challenge ahead with, with, with a quality Exeter Chiefs team on, on Saturday night. Knockout rugby, how does that differ though from just a standard league game? Well, you know, it's, it's obviously, it's, you don't get any second chances. It, so it's, we're going to have to, everything we say we're going to do, everything we've been practising, we're going to have to turn up and do on Saturday. And for us, really, this is our last chance to get anything out of this season. Um, you know, this is our chance of winning some silverware, which would, which would be nice. You know, this is, I don't think we've been in the semi-final for a number of years at this club. Uh, as I said before, we've put in a massive amount of hard work. Uh, to, to get to this stage in terms of winning the games we've done and, and obviously a, a tough quarter final against Connett. So, yeah, it's, uh, I'm sure there'll be a lot, of, a lot of emotion involved, but you know, we'll have to uh, obviously st stay fixed on the task ahead, which is putting in, a, putting in a massive performance, getting all the things right that we've been practising, that we've been talking about and, uh, and, and trying to come away with a win, make a final. If Gloucester do win, would it be a bit of an upset maybe? Uh, I'm not too sure, I'm sure. You know, I guess Exeter on form are probably the favourites coming in, given the fact that they're they're doing well in the Premiership. But if you look at the the last few times we've played them, it's been very close matches. Uh, obviously, we, we we beat them last time we played them down at their place. Um, but you know, they are a quality team. But we know that we we can you know we can certainly switch on when, on our, on on our day. So if we can turn up and put in some of the performances that we've we've done or we've shown glimpses of this year, uh, I don't think. You know, we're we're by any means not capable of winning the game, so we, we should obviously take confidence from that. Pressure on the backs to be clinical if the if the pack can secure quality ball. Yeah, of course, always. Nothing really changes. Uh, you know, we have to, as I said, practice the things we do week in week out. Obviously, there's subtle changes for each team you play. Um, but you know, it's 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 just about turning up on the day and and just with the right mental attitude mixed with obviously that emotion and that passion that you need for these big games. And, and doing it, doing a job.